Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here, happy Saturday everybody, hope you guys are all enjoying your weekend so far, um, if you guys can smash that like button, we will go straight over to those charts. Um, so not a lot has happened um, overnight, overnight for me anyway in Bitcoin. Um, you can see, um, yeah, we've been bas basically, this is obviously on the 4 hour, been guided up by this trend line. Um, looking to get caught by it again. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically what we're looking for uh, to pump us through this um, 10,400 level. Um, obviously, it's the weekend um, and you can often get range in price action. But I do feel like we are quite, um, we're quite mature in um this whole formation in this trend in um basically everything that's going on and um, that so we will actually get a i think we'll get a decent move either up soon or or actually down we could get a move down and um, potentially even to this trend line which is coming in um uh, well you will be coming in around ten thousand. so yeah i mean that is that's definitely not off the cards um i don't think we will break ten thousand. um this uh, if we're going to break it i don't think we'll do it this weekend um but again i don't necessarily think that is a likely option i do think we are gonna um play some upside but you know what bitcoin's like and especially at weekends you can get a lot of wick wick action so maybe we're gonna get down and up up down up um <laughs> down up down or, or any um combination or number of um those, those events um but yeah i do uh i don't think we're gonna just stay um i don't think bitcoin's gonna gonna go out quietly this weekend um i just think that we are we are we are primed for a move um we're pretty much primed for a move to the upside um but yeah i mean we may get faked out to the upside and come down um obviously we know bitcoin is more than capable of that um obviously um dollar index and um other other markets are open this weekend but you can see um dollar index getting guided down by this line what i expect to happen is similar price action to what happened here just further further guided down by this trend line until eventually we lose this level and then we just um we just do this basically that's what i'm expecting um obviously if we regain this trend line we gain this horizontal regain this horizontal especially um then things will start to look bad and if we regain 97 that is it it's game over stock market crash everything's done dollars going back over 100 um yeah deflation of all um, commodities um and yeah and just that, that's it <laughs> so that's obviously where we don't want to get to but any point in between there can obviously be a fake out um on this macro trend but i mean we don't we don't we don't want to um we don't want to test that theory let's just go down now <laughs> but anyway so yeah back to bitcoin we'll have a look at the stochastics um like i said not much has happened traditional markets are open so there isn't a lot i can look at um for our stokes looking like we've got a nice trend line here as you can see um so we're we gonna get picked up here move, move that way over nine thousand ten thousand sorry four hundred and five hundred and six hundred etc possibly possibly we'll delete that um 10 hour again uh, well 10 hours actually starting to top out a little bit here but um 12 hour and daily should be looking better 12 hours got a nice head of steam here so i mean all that will mean on the, on the 10 hour i mean is that we end up with this sort of price action and we get held up as as a 12 hour and potentially daily which isn't isn't starting to move up properly yet but if this does and what if stroke when this does then yeah um we will get this um we will get these all jammed up as a daily daily plays um plays catch up and puts in um puts in the strength behind the move and two day also similarly so next week we could be having these aligned moving to the upside above 10,500 area giving us some real real um potential upside and then what i expect would happen we will get back up above 10 what well, i'll get we'll get the we'll get the chart what i expect would happen then is we probably get a nice move up to 11,000 and then these shorter time frame stochastics um for 10 12 hour etc we'll play out this range a little bit whilst they cool off and then um well well actually then i would like to say up upwards onwards and upwards obviously the bigger larger trend is up the shorter term time frame trend will be up um so we'll have that in our favor um but obviously that is this is a this is the perfect rejection point if the bull market is over so obviously just be aware of that fact not that i think that is what will happen but if it does happen um yeah i mean it won't it won't look out of place on the charts um but yeah so that is it really guys 
Um, fantasy um, football starting again. Well, I say fantasy football. The normal Premier League is starting again today, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm not going to um, show you guys my team until um, until the um, deadline, uh, well, later uh, this morning. Um, and then, yeah, any of you guys that want to join my league, um, there is a, a link. I'll put a link in the description, um, actually, for you guys. So you can join my um, Trading with Dan Fantasy Football League. Um, and, yeah, and I'll show my teams. I'm actually going to keep um, updated on that. I, I, I've got a funny story about Premier League. Uh, about football in general I basically went to a school where we didn't play any football so I never played football my whole life we played rugby at school rugby and cricket etc um, and hockey and all those sorts of things um, but we didn't play football so I was never into football at all so I basically when I actually first started trading I got a job at a hedge fund straight out of uni and everybody was really into um, fantasy football like everybody on my trading floor like about 30 guys um, so I got really into it then um and yeah and i actually started watching football then as well because we it was this was in north london um and we used to get um basically the company used to get free arsenal and free spurs tickets and well there were a lot of spurs supporters it was basically a jewish firm there were a lot of spurs supporters because they tend to jewish Ju spurs tends to be a heavily supported by jewish people so the spurs tickets would all be done so arsenal tickets were available so i just used to go and watch arsenal matches um, so yeah, but uh, and another funny story about that. So basically, know nothing about football, having no bias, no nothing, not caring. Um, I basically, um, what did I do? I, um, I, I basically did really well, and all I did was just crunch the numbers on on players. And um, I actually didn't even join the first game week. I joined the second game week. And if you guys know anything about fantasy football, I actually finished in about two thousand something place out of like millions, and that was with missing the first game week as well. So I was pretty. That, so basically, I won the league, even against everybody at work, even though they all started in the first game week. So I, they had an extra game week, and I beat everybody. So interesting, interesting, um, fun fact about football there. So, um, and I think you can pretty much check that if you want. If you join my league, you'll see my team, and then you can go back and see it has my previous results, and it'll have my score and my position from literally back way way back way back way back when so yeah that is it guys so remember this is not financial or football advice um the link for my fantasy football um league is in the description and i will speak to you guys later on well probably later on this evening i am out and about this evening um i will be back but maybe late maybe too late to do a video um obviously if we've got some spectacular price action i will definitely do one regardless of the time but if not just um, it will be the morning either way it's going to be early morning anyway but it'll be like regular morning like this time so yeah have a great day whatever you guys are up to and i'll speak to you well i'll speak to you when i speak to you